What's the matter with you? Well, it's been weeks. No Wolzard tricks, no Wraith attacks. Maybe they finally just gave up and left us alone. I don't think the Alliance are the type to just call it quits and go home. <sighs> if only I had some clue or some sign about what they were up to next instead of just waiting here. Hmm. Maybe these answers to our questions have been under our nose this whole time. Are you sure, EZ? We never got around to testing that gizmo. For all we know, it could destroy Hal. Then where would we be? Well, no time to start second-guessing now. Here goes nothing. Long time no see, Easy Rider. I'm Easy Rider, and welcome to the third anniversary of Token Time. Three years. My God, has it been that long. Well, I'm going back to where it all began. Three years ago today, I made my first ever video review. The top ten Super Sentai themes of all time. And to this day, it's still a crowd pleaser among my Toku faithful. Everyone's favorites were on that list. No one had any qualms or quarrels or... Well, almost no one. But hey, I can be fair. Besides, picking just 10 of over 35 Super Sentai themes can be tough, so I'm doing another one. This is the top 10 next best Super Sentai themes of all time. First, an honorable mention. This may not be as headbanging as others, but it's filled with energy and an 80 cent vibe that can't be beat. Vocals performed by a personal favorite of mine, Takayuki Miyuji, before he hit it big with Black RX, of course. This theme is super electric. Number 10. Go Kaiger. Yeah, you knew this was coming. Be honest, how could I not include this epic theme? This catchy beat is so uplifting, it just makes you want to go sailing into the infinite sea of stars with this lovable band of pirates. Fighting Zangyak and gathering Super Sentai treasure as they go, the Gokai just plundered their way into Super Sentai fans' hearts and to the number 10 spot. Super 
same song, this is the one. Ah, the 90s. Martial arts and ninjas were all the rage back then. Even in Japan, the birthplace of ninjas, they were coming back with a bang. Don't get me wrong, I love this theme, but the way the Captain Rangers fight off the bad guys, it almost seems like this should be playing in the background. Well, be that as it may, with stealth and accuracy, this ninja theme song kills its way to the number 8 spot. Number seven. Go on. full force, this theme goes from zero to a hundred in two seconds. The saxophone and the stone cold beats in the background make you feel like you're in a Steve McQueen car chase scene. Seriously, this should be on every racing fan's playlist. I dare you not to have it blaring on Mario Kart on game night. This heart pounding anthem is made even better with vocals by Hideyuki Takahashi, who you may recognize as doing the current theme for Tokume Sentai Go Busters. But I'll always remember him from this engine revving speed king first. Go! Onja! Go! Moero Super Sentai! Number six, Gingaman. Seiju Sentai, Gingaman. Kishire, Chikyu Seimashi to Kake Megure. Gingaman. Ah, good old Gingaman. The series that went back to nature and yet somehow involved space pirates. Those space pirates, silly. This 
This theme carries a very classical feeling, what with backup female singers and a whole orchestra to boot. It almost comes close to sounding like an Ultraman theme if you listen close enough. Either way, in a forest of Sentai music, this one stands out above the others to save the galaxy. Number 5 O-Ranger Oh man, this one rocks! This theme song has the charm of an 80s Sentai theme, but built for a 90s Sentai audience. It's the best of both worlds. comment I have about this song is, why do they keep saying Olay? Are they matadors? Are they mariachi? Bottom line, O-Ranger is oh so good for the number five spot. Number four, Maji Rain. I know I've said in the past that I've regretted leaving this off the first list, so it's time to rectify that mistake. If there was any song that could lift my spirits after a really bad day, it's this theme. This theme also very nicely lays out the five powers from each of the core members in English. Any theme that does that deserves a few extra points. Wolkaiser in this intro. Hey, just because he's tried to kill me a few times doesn't mean he doesn't still kick ass, am I right? This theme makes me yearn for adventure and fantasy. Maji Ranger. This theme is... Oh, what's the word? Magic! Shut up, you weirdo. Number three, Shin Kinger. If you need any more reason as to why I put this on the list, then just listen to this introduction. Oh hell yes, yeah, Psychic Lover does the theme to this song. You can call me biased, I don't care. These guys are one of my favorite bands and they make J-Rock and Shimasen music come together beautifully. And no, I'm not playing fanboy and I'm not exaggerating about this band. Psychic Lover can put the word sword clash in their song and still make it sound awesome. Name 
name me one other band that can do that. Cutting through the rest, this Shin Kenger theme is just too splendid. Number two, Jew Ranger. Okay, I'm cheating a little with this one, but come on. This theme has a special place in the hearts of Sentai and Power Rangers fans alike. to guess that if you're like me, Zero Ranger was the first Sentai you ever saw, and this theme was unlike anything you ever heard before. The booming vocals, the trumpets blaring, it's just a bold and timeless theme. And before we move on to number one, I have to do this joke that I and several other immature YouTube commenters have been making for years about this theme song. All joking aside, Zero Ranger is a staple Sentai theme and it more than deserves to be on this countdown. And the number one next best Super Sentai theme of all time, Jetman. If there is one thing my fans are never going to let me live down for the rest of my life, it's going to be leaving this theme song out of my first video ever made. I really hope you fans appreciate what I do for you. Now, please stop spamming my inbox with comments and hate mail about not including this song in the last list. And by the way, you're welcome! Moving right along. To be fair, I can see why you guys have complained. This theme is probably the closest you can ever get to J-pop perfection. The horns, the guitar, even the drums in the background stand out as to make this theme so great. But I think I know why this theme is so popular. It's because of one man, Hironobu Kagayama. You may recognize him from this little ditty. That's right, Mr. DBZ himself does this theme. Granted, he's done several other themes for Sentai and Toku in his illustrious career, but many Toku music fans regard this as his masterpiece. And for this reason and many more, Jetman is the number one next best Super Sentai theme. It soars above all the others. And well, there you have it, the top 10 next best Super Sentai themes of all time. If you like this list more than the old one, then this can be the best Super Sentai themes list. Or the old one can be the next best Super Sentai list. Or vice versa. It's all up to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this three-year anniversary video. I sure did. And I want to thank all my friends, my family, and Toku faithful around the world for being great fans. You make it all worthwhile. I'm just glad there's no big bad invading the city or anything this time, because Lord knows, I just want to sit here and watch some effing Toku. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> Why me? Well, until the next Toku time, I'm Easy Rider. Later. You again! Uh, let me blast him. Who 
is that character, Senpai? That Shadow Moon. He was a big shot in the Alliance before your time. He's made both of our lives a living hell. Just say the word and I'll blow him to a plane. I see. You have a nasty habit of collecting strays, pitiful human. This doesn't make any sense. All I'm seeing are files and file folders. How could you be functioning from a simple USB drive? It makes no sense. My CPU survived the explosion that I perished in. No thanks to that rotten chairman. Well, Shadow Moon, I know we've had our past differences, but I think we can help each other now. You give me all the dirt you've got on the Alliance, and together we can take those bastards out once and for all. What do you say? And what makes you think I will tell you? Because, if you don't help me, then you're no use to me. That way I can do... this. <laughs> oh, just deleting a few files that make up your CPU. Keep this up and there won't be enough of you to fill a microchip. Wait! Stop! I'll talk! That's better. Now tell me about Woolzard. What is he up to, and what does it have to do with stealing Gaia memory energy from my body? What's the end game? Woolzard? That pony riding wimp is free? Wait, they couldn't! Spill it, Tin Can, or you're history! Life Energy was a part of a plan for Operation Shadowfall. If Woolzard is a part of this, then he must be the handler for their newest weapon. All he said about it was, the reflection cuts deep. That's all I know. Hey! D damn it! Why do the bad guys always talk in cryptic riddles? The reflection cuts deep. What does it mean? Thank <laughs> you.